We are not reporters nor journalists. The views, information, or opinions expressed are strictly and solely barber shop talk. We pride ourselves on being uncut, unapologetic, uncompromising, unfiltered, and refuse to conform to anything less than. So if you can't, cut the cap. This ain't the show for you. All right, here we go. I want to know what y'all thoughts about this after we listen to this for a minute. It's only a minute and 22 seconds. Let's go. Just be, make the thing, and then put it on sale. Now it's like, put it on sale, and then deliver the half-baked thing, and then iterate and make it better, and hopefully with enough updates, then it's it's ready, and it's what we promised way back when we first started selling it. And then this this whole period in the middle is a mess. Ring, ring, half, ring, Bring half-baked game. Oh my bad, I'm, I'm wrestling Product with categories that keyboard. Too. We've seen this with gaming. Like huge studios are delivering half-baked games, saying, "Oh, you know, it's an alpha version. Like there will be updates." But meanwhile, it's a full-price AAA game that's just got an unacceptable number of bugs and issues. It's also happening with cars and vehicles getting announced and then delivering with like a half-finished state where you just don't get a lot of the features that you paid for, and they're eventually coming soon with a software update. You know, smartphones, obviously we've been seeing this for years, but it does seem like now more than ever, there's at least one feature, one major feature of every smartphone launch that gets announced, but that's not coming until later in the year. And now these AI-based products are at like the apex of this horrible trend where the thing that you get at the beginning is like borderline non-functional compared to all the promises and all the features and all the things that it's supposed to maybe someday be. But you still pay full price at the beginning, which is what makes it so crazy. All right. So do you agree with this guy, uh, Marcus, what he's saying about this stuff? Yeah, that's in the business model. As far as like- Do I agree with it or do I, do nah, I agree with it? Do you agree with him with what he's saying? Like, as far, yeah, exactly. Like, do y'all agree with this? Like, is this fair? You know, like you're getting stuff that's half, cook like then it's not there yet but they're selling it to you like it's there yet are you tired so, of it all in one let me know your thoughts like yeah you know I, what i mean i am tired of it but we also but i'm not dumb we're also in a microwave everybody wants something now right so there are they have been products that they they came out with a beta such as warzone fortnite get you in get you know develop see what you like and then they can develop it based upon feedback that's the smarter part but it's 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 the business model now for most things now for something that could lose a life like a car no hell no you know what i'm saying but like a game a platform like that's makes sense like you give them the bait you get, like okay this is supposed to be able to do this but we're working to get it and we're going to get it the way you like it based on your feedback and eventually we'll get the, fir- the full product of it, whatever the case. It sucks, but that's what we. That's the way everything works in every business model, right? Like whether it's Microsoft, Google, everything runs like that, where they give you something to start and then it gets better over time because now you also have something to look forward to because people get tired very quickly. They get the product, oh, and then I'm bored now. But if you get the product, and you you oh you get the little update here you get the you get that longevity you start getting that like attachment to it and that's why the business model works nowadays because now like when they make something it's not relevant three months later but if you gotta wait for it to develop like oh wait till I get the new face scan ID drink that you know that when it comes out in September you hype for that you still rocking with your iPhone until that come out but if you had it as soon as you got the phone oh this shit ass I mean I'm just using my code. And kept it moving you know what i'm saying so now with that hype is completely different so yeah. i understand from a business aspect why they do it plus you get the funding to do it do i like it it sucks for games i don't mind it because you could develop the game proper but yeah. not for everything it's not a it's not an all-encompassed business plan that should be used for everything that's what i, I wish, don't agree with it what's your thoughts fellas um well you want to go or you want me to go yeah, no, yeah. um I think him even mentioning this shit is stupid. It's wild, dumb. Um, <laughs> but that's because... what he does. So he, that's his job, chill. <laughs> no, no, no. I, yeah, I, I get it. I'm just saying. I think I'm. I just think it's dumb because, for one, nobody put a gun to your head for you to buy it. You could wait. 
Point. But that's it. That, so a, a snap is of him. That's literally his job. He reviews products and buys stuff all the time. Eh? His whole channel is based on that. No, but I'm so not, he's the perfect but, person. Not to about no, but I'm not talking about the people. Yeah, I'm not talking about exactly. I'm talking yeah. about the consumer. Yeah. If you know the new iPhone is coming out, everybody know don't buy the first batch. Everybody know don't buy the buy the first batch of the Xbox. You wait till the bugs get fixed, then you buy. We know that. Um, if you want to look at it in another aspect. Business wise, everybody throws out a pilot. You throw out the pilot, and like Five said, then you wait for the consumer to give you your the, the give you the nicks and the next what we do like, what we don't like. Then y'all know what to touch up. On a business standpoint, you still got to worry about competitive advantage because once you put something out, your competitors are now going to put out what you put out, but you don't want to put everything out because you got to have that competitive advantage. On another business standpoint, you got two types of business you have a low cost and then you have the diff, diff, um different diff, how you say that deriff deriff i can i can't say that word derivative some nah it's the um diff, it's like um high 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 cost low cost type shit. like okay. a, a, a like a maybach okay. everybody can't make the type of maybe it was a luxury cause yeah different diver, diver, whatever that shit is but if you like apple where you can make yourself stand out because you have a certain technique then okay. you can put everything out at once because nobody can't copy you. Okay. If you're not like that, then you got to do the low cost route because people can copy you. So you don't, you don't, you're not gonna put out everything at once. Okay. And a lot of these companies can't do that. They got to go the low cost route. So there's many reasons why. But my thing I stand on is, if you know it's like this, nigga, don't buy it until you got till the right. right shit comes out. And right. that's it. Or don't complain if you do buy it. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wolf, what's your final thoughts on this, man? I think, uh, <clears throat> I think, I mean, yeah, I think y'all made a point. You know what I'm saying? I think that's a fact. That's, you know, from a consumer standpoint. But I, I think that shit is kind of, I think it's kind of ass, though. You know what I mean? From a, from a business point of view, you know what I mean? That I, you know, I feel like a lot of these, com a lot of these companies, a lot of these big corporations are starting to get, they starting to get lazy, you know what I'm saying? Okay. They starting to, uh, they doing this because they getting comfortable because the consumer is still purchasing. The, mm -hmm. the consumer is still buying the shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But how many times, look, there's times where we on the game, you know what I'm saying? Whether well, it may be Madden, look, MLB. Now yep. I'm saying MLB, the game dropped. When the game dropped, the server to get online wasn't even working. Like, mm -hmm. you can't even get online to play the game. Why the fuck is the game out? Yeah. You That's know what I'm hard, saying? Man. Like, That's this hard, should man. all, this should be something that should be taken care of beforehand. Now I'm saying? Y'all should be running a million tests before you get to that point. They say they put it in beta. I, I don't like that. You using, beta. This is what I'm saying. You using us as the experiment. Yeah, but you know that, I'm so. But the problem is, we already spent our money. But that's rough, though. Walt. Like from an IT standpoint, all programs have issues. Like you no, can. No, 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 no. We're not talking about no. Hell no. No, 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 but but again, a game is literally coding. It's a program. Whether you it like it or not, it's a program. That's it's not the never, point. No, but there's never been a program that ever came out and didn't have issues, like ever. Sure. No, that's not true. So you're telling me every game that dropped, as every as dropped, game that got ever issues. dropped had an issue some way or form, a glitch. Nah, but not, not, nah, that's cap. Yeah, you use it as a backbone. I, when people say that, they use that. No, it's a difference from little errors, little bugs here. But if you know you're putting out an unfinished product, bro, right? And you know there's damn well, that we, bro. Come on. Yeah, like, hey, bro, that joint is trash. Like, uh, they, matter of fact, they put out what you call it that we used to play all the time. That PUBG. shooting game. Pub, that, that was terrible, bro. Was no, terrible they purposely product, bro. did that. They, they purposely did that and let you know it was in beta mode. But that, it goes to what Strategic said. You still bought it and played it when you knew it wasn't even a full game yet. What I'm talking about is games that actually came no, out strategic, like Yeah, Strategic has a great point, but there has yeah. to be some value in your product, like War saying. Right. Like, you have to take some type of initiative in your stuff. That don't make it right because you tap beta. Yo, I'm going to make half this game work, so, right. and then I'm going to tap beta on it and put it out and make you spend. The, that don't make 
that still don't make you correct or make it right. Like, bro. But that that is a business model for most platform games. Like, so yes, because they money, because different... they money hunt. Everybody want the money. Like, everybody's what, like, yo, they waiting for supply and demand. Let's put it out. What what people need to do, and it's not play it. What what people 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 control GTA the market. Bugs. People control the businesses. If we as the people stop falling for that dumbass trick that they do, they, they call business, which is bad. That's bad customer service. That's what that is. That's bad business. You, Absolutely. you shouldn't put out something that you know is not. Like, if I'm buying it, we should be able to sue. Like, yo. If, no, they if have. You, That's why they chant. Yeah, A lot yeah. of people I was about to suing. say. If they you, start assuming. If you promoting something and advertising something, then I should be able to sue you if I don't get <laughs> what I'm paid for. Yeah, and this is not this ain't just for a game. Know what I mean, this goes for technology all around the board. Because he's had calls and everything. Yeah, the Tesla, you know, they had recalls on the oh, Tesla, bro. bro. Yeah, see, now they that had problems that I don't with the agree. autopilot shit and all that. Like, bro, they there was an autopilot joint that burned in in a Texas or some shit. Know what I mean, it's, see, it's, now like, I, I don't agree with state you. life, bro. Fully, that shit ain't yeah. like on, that man. one. You can fully test a automobile to see if it drives. You could put on, you could run it through the ground. A program you can't. And I, I keep relying back on games or programs because you keep the customers always the X variable that they can't test. Like when you got somebody that got dial up, nah, I do, bro. I don't agree with you saying, bro. But no, when I you agree. got somebody that got five megabyte internet and then I got fiber one gig, I don't have that ability to test to make sure that game runs fine. Yes, that's you not, do. Yeah, that's that not niggas what, got the ability to do whatever nah, the fuck they want. Nah, yo, yo, listen, this true. is this is what people say to do. Bro. This is what you should do. You should test the game before you drop it. Like you have betas of testing the game. They do before. No, no, they don't. Not every game. No, bro. I, I don't even before, want little. Oh, no, before you put it on sale. Or you put it on make sale. It free. Make the beta free. Yo, yes, try bro. Try out a free version, and then you put the correct. We're not version talking on about sale. Call okay. of Duty, okay, okay. and we're not talking about because, no. Yes, because exactly niggas do that with um. No, nah, I mean, the people got that's with, some people jobs to test games. So that's why I said they do test it. No, but they like they do the same shit with what you call it, like um. Like T-Mobile, when T-Mobile had the 5G, T-Mobile was the first one to do the real 5G. I go back to competitive advantage because T-Mobile was doing it. Now all the other companies, knowing they're not ready, knowing they don't have the capability to do it, they want to be part of that competitive advantage and they're going to throw something out. Y'all not ready for 5G. Y'all ain't even got the 5G towers, but y'all <laughs> fucking with that field. But then you making Wall and Hop that got at and Pay for some fake 5G that y'all know y'all not even if ready fake for. 5G bro. is definitely out there, bro. Word. I was not all about that, bro. Y'all got me on 4G when I'm supposed to be on 5G. Bro. I, I mean, know. you know, I'm saying. Hold on, Team I'm ATT, saying, no, bro. I ain't, I ain't got ATT, bro. <laughs> don't, don't do that, bro. I'm, I'm grandfather. Hold on, what's wrong with ATT? I'm grandfathered in, bro. Oh, I got five G. I ain't got a choice because you're grandfathered in. You ain't got a choice. You're keeping. You're staying there for a reason. You're. You like your discount and you don't want to lose. Yeah. Know what I'm saying. No, when I call, they go, "Hey, is that El Papi Grande?" I'm like, "Yeah." Yo, this thing is different. And you got a whole man saying that to you. Yeah. No, it's a female. Right. I only talk to female yeah. operators. That's it. Wow. I, I hang up. If it's do hello, my name's Clark. Then I go <laughs> back <laughs> until I get Roseanne. <laughs> Sarah, I don't, I don't talk to dudes. I, I cut that out a long time ago, bro. You, Edward, you cannot help me, bro. You know, that's it, bro. Nah, Yo, bro. I, did, I was answering Dribble. Dribble, you wasn't there when GTA. You was probably like 10 when that drink launched. GTA had so many issues when it first launched. The game was crashing. You couldn't finish say, missions. What? Um, what you, would get, you wasn't getting from the sky? Yeah, I he mean, was randomly. Clearly, he's fun. not talking about GTA that far back. I think he's no. He literally said GTA didn't have bugs for real, and I'm I don't know yeah, what he's, he's talking, talking about. Like the last one that came it, out, and all of them had bugs. You <laughs> know, every single one. Yeah, there was glitches and everything, and every single one. The fall from the sky, on GTA. <laughs> so they, I don't even know which one he's talking about, but I just said five, which was the last one, which came out ten years, ten fifteen years ago. It's been that long since GTA Five came out, and he was probably like ten. Cause I don't even think he's twenty yet. So, <laughs> how did he <laughs> remember? How did he remember? You know what I'm saying? When when the launch came out, yo, but, but yo, they gotta fix that. I ain't gonna lie, but it's yo, Wall said. I mean, Killer said it the best, bro. Yeah, 
we got to stop buying into this stuff. But we also that's got the, to, that's the goal. Yeah, bro. And what we got to stop making excuses too for these companies too, man. You know what I mean? Uh, make sure they pay out. We don't do enough of that, bro. We just settle, bro. Like we'll mm-hmm. get something and we just like, okay, it's cool. No, everybody else. This is a, this is how it's supposed to go. You like, yo, I got a piece of shit in front of me. No, it's everybody got a piece of shit. Yeah, no, no that's, that's not it, bro. That's not, not it, answer. bro. But you know, you know what what I mean? I'm going through this with a company I'm dealing with in my job. So that's this shit is hilarious. <laughs> it, it, it's it's crazy, man.